Tony. Hey everybody, I'm Tony. And I'm Chantel. And, and we're, we're the Tony, Tony and Chantel show. show. And we are back with a fresh episode of Love to Hip Hop Atlanta tonight, Monday. We just saw it. We just watched it. So we're going to hurry up and put this video up and give our opinion. The season is kind of boring to me, mm -hmm. personally. I think it's going to heat up next week. It kind of towards the end and heated up because, you know, like everybody, like all us, we reality TV, especially love hip hop. We want to watch the train wrecks. I know we can sit up and say we, you know, some people say you make your person look bad. Make, this our guilty pleasure. We want to see them fight, whether it's fake, scripted, or whatever. But <laughs> I know it's scripted. So tonight we started with we found out that Bambi um, had the miscarriage. She had the miscarriage. Yeah. And unfortunately, about these shows is sometimes they are filmed like four months and six months ahead of time so if you saw photos of Bambi or seen interviews of her you knew her stomach was not no six months or seven months it was flat so we knew either she had it I figured I was like because when I seen the interview on boss up or whatever mm -hmm. I was like okay she don't I don't see no stomach like at least if you go if y'all don't want to Mona if y'all gonna film ahead of time you're gonna put a pregnancy in and you want to slot the miscarriage and you don't want people to know and to watch uh soon Put a put a fake baby on on belly on or something. <laughs> Cause remember I I, call, I asked y'all I was like, well, is is she pregnant? I was like, look at photos, up to date photos. You you can tell. Mm -hmm. She got a bump. Could be if she don't, something not happened. And most likely that's what it was a miscarriage. Yeah, that's so sad. Yeah, it is sad. It didn't. You know, I know we're gonna say some people say, oh yes, yeah, script is fake. I don't want to talk on a miscarriage. Because that's something that you yeah, don't. Now I don't think the show is scripted, of course, but not. No, I don't think nobody will fake no miscarriage. And that's, that's what I'm hoping, and that's what I'm because so. I don't want to like get onto that. Like if that's if that's something true that happened between her and Scrappy, that's not nothing to fake on and lap to be talking exactly. about on. Because that's a the, serious situation. It's so. a serious situation. Like Mona, like as you get you you know just like I call it the, the ranching and the restless. That's love and hip hop. Oh, you know, man. soap operas have them. Storylines in there, you know. I'm just saying, it's like a, it's like a story, a soap opera, late night soap opera. It so, is, yeah. So, but if it was true, and I'm not saying it's not, so people don't think I'm saying it was fake. I do feel sorry for her and Scrappy. I, whew. I just yeah. feel sorry for everybody on the cast. I really do. No, I, I don't because they signed up and they know what they was doing and they know what it was gonna do and they got their checks and they put the work in. It's just. Some of y'all at y'all should have went and took went to like on the R and B D with Satasha Smith acting classes. Some of y'all should have went there and went there when she was there. Okay. And and learned a couple of things because some of the crying off key, some of the Exactly. You know, some of them don't even go together. Like you know, how y'all do shit. Never mind. Like, you know. <laughs> what else we saw tonight? Tonight also was Um Jocelyn and Stevie J had a little date. Oh, they so cute. They like the yeah. perfect married couple they don't been married for like the perfect what they're the perfect married couple like they don't they ain't even really married they listen don't, they listen, don't even know listen they even listen married. listen they have been married for about a good three to seven years no 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 wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute june and july so maybe they don't been married for like june wait february march april may june so maybe by i'll take the years back that's probably a stretch so maybe about four or five months they don't be well, married, you from but years? they are so beautiful together. I love this marriage. They are an inspiration to people who want to go walk down the aisle and get married. Because do you what? know what? Yeah, because all you gotta do is look on the um the hip hop magazine that Stevie J, the girl says Stevie J own, yeah. and they say they got married. So they married, ain't it? Well, that's not what Dawn said. Well, but... what you know? Hey, Jocelyn say J July, Stevie J say June. You know, well, I tell you what, maybe, nobody don't know when they got married. Well, maybe, they don't even know when they got married. So just sign number one. Well, I ain't never been married, so I don't know if I would remember my wedding date. Oh, please. Most, most likely oh, I probably please. would, oh, but please. it's yeah, child. But you know what? Dawn came in out and she had receipts, she had letters, she had papers, she had, she had proof of her stuff. That's Stevie just kept throwing her, oh she she broke, she did, she that. Oh, she don't want to see, she don't want to No, I don't believe that one. What? Yeah, she, she got evidence to show. I know what everybody talk about reading. But she <coughs> she read with receipts, exactly like something Carly didn't have, like actual before. receipts, like paperwork <laughs> proof. So Steve J, I don't if you don't. Then he, she told you say, and and KD, what no what I not K, what her name is Don was it Don? Yeah. Okay, Don is I guess it's Steve J's agent or manager or whatever like that. She signed up and told Steve J say you don't own your house, and exactly. Steve J to so the Steve J responded like. Yes, I do own my house. Stop like he told me some. 
I know who owned my house. Exactly, because he didn't know. He didn't but want you to be don't know when you got married, so how you know who owned the house? I know who owned the house. Um, Mona. Mona named Mona. <laughs> that's, who owned, that's who owned the house. That's she who owned the house. That's who owned all these cars, rental car. Mona named all that. She, he just didn't want to be embarrassed. And I understand. Yeah. Like, if you're on TV, you know, I don't want to be embarrassed either. I know what it was. That girl didn't get her last check. And, and everybody know, you know, when you don't quit a job and you don't put your two weeks notice in. That's or you right. don't got fired. You go back for your last check. Imagine putting your two weeks in and you don't, or either you don't got let go from a job and you go there for your last check and they tell you, say, oh, we don't got it. <laughs> I'm going, well, I'm suing. <laughs> it's like, well, if we don't got it, you got to come up with something. Mm -hmm. And that's what it was. Jocelyn got must have got jealous of this girl. Girl must have came over there with some thongs or something. Exactly. And exactly. she was like, she got to go. And so that girl was like, okay, well I got to go. Just pay my last year. And CBJ was like, they ain't got the money because she said they broke. So she like, oh, they trying to fire me without paying me. I'm for the reason. But one ass. thing, like I said, Stevie could say what he wanted to say, but she got evidence on him. So she got evidence on no him. matter what he say, how he say it, I don't, I ain't seen none of his proof yet. Exactly. Like all I keep hearing is accusations and stimulations. I ain't seen no paperwork. I would nothing. show like to see if they married because it, why say you are man? Like, it, did you did y'all say y'all was married because? You wanted to show proof that Stevie J picked you or something over Mimi. Yeah. And marriage was to say that, hey, he married Jocelyn, but he wouldn't marry Mimi. Jo Child Jocelyn probably got them rings from Claire's or something like that. Well, you can get a gay. I can go buy me a beautiful gay ring saying. too. Or get me one out of the Cracker Jock box and put exactly. it on, on my finger and say, I'm married too. That don't mean I'm married to a real person. Exactly. I could be married to myself. You know, I'm beautiful. I can look in the mirror. Well, hey, if they I'm married, if they girl. not married, more power to them. But y'all need to get y'all lives together. That's all I'm, you get know. Get it together. Have your lives in order if you're going to do that. And I see you still got your moves. You shaking your tail. Well, you shaking more than tail feathers, Miss Jocelyn. But you go ahead and shake it for your well, man. Bad week, Keep that me. marriage. What? A wig. That was weird. I thought that was her No, but you let me, let me talk. You thought that was what? No, mind. Well, you go ahead on and shake it for Stevie J. You keep shaking it till you can't shake it no more, girl. And that's going to be through for in a minute. No, but I, I got to give it to her. She got a bad bang about to Get it, mama. I love it. Just go ahead on and shake that thing for Stevie J. Because ain't nobody else going to want you shaking no more. <laughs> she said she ain't going back to the strip club, so she can't shake it for nobody else no more. So okay. go ahead on and shake okay. it for Stevie J. Uh, when you come out with your album and you on tour come and stuff. Come out with what? Her album, her career, she's gonna be the next big thing. Like okay, but anyways, um, we love you, Jocelyn. No, we don't love nothing. You do. I love Jocelyn. We, I love these characters. That's why we be talking about they behind. Okay, next up <sighs> is who else? Oh, Dale. Oh yeah. Walk a flock of flame. Now, did I say it right? Please tell me I said it right. You said it right. Cause I don't think he know how to say it, and his. Fiance yeah. slash girlfriend slash ex girlfriend slash the woman he cheated on slash the woman he broke up with some woman he begged back the woman Dale did was trying to fight the woman Dale back damn. loving what's her name Tammy Tammy okay yeah cause you know she regretted <laughs> she's so happy that whole and Dale back together you know well, I got, well, I got my hat like a shoe so I'm a little inspired by Miss Tammy. Uh... I'm I'm just glad to see somebody doing okay on the show, but you go know, ahead, I, you go ahead on Deb, but you you give Waka Flock away. Please give him away to somebody. Well, Deb, the man and the woman, so she is. Which I don't blame Deb, and oh. I ain't saying nothing more about Deb. Deb won't hurt me. Oh, well, damn. Deb ain't gonna do nothing to me, child. Deb, you go ahead, you walk him down and give him to somebody. Just don't give him to me. What? Yeah, give, give, give Waka Flock to somebody. Just don't give him to me. As long as you ain't giving him to me, I don't care. But go ahead and walk him <gasps> down. Now, that's your son. That's your baby. You the mother and the father. That's how some parents is not there. That's how some mothers is. Sometimes these daddies they know where to be around. Yeah, but I seen I seen, I seen on the show, but before that, they her, um Tammy and Walker Flock was at home and they was talking, but he told yeah. me he just want a baby. And I said, <laughs> No, you don't. He probably do. Because no, he probably don't. just But check it, let me tell you something. He want a baby, but he, he want don't the want the idea a baby. of the baby. He don't exactly want, you know, most people just want a child to say, I got my son, I got my butt. It's like putting the But he is on but the you road. Know what? He you... is on the road with all these women and different things. And I'm not saying he's gonna cheat. I'm not saying he But is. I think he probably but... want that baby to hold her down. To keep her settled. I don't know. And to keep her so even if she say for example he do cheat on her, if she got a baby from him, they attach for life until eighteen. You get what I'm saying? Like what well, so maybe I think when you slow down your career, then you should think about getting the baby, not now. Exactly. But see, Waka Flocka don't know when his next hit gonna come or go. So, hey, ride that thing till you can't ride that thing no And more. that's why I'm blaming for getting on low hip hop. Because I'm like, finna get on here in a minute. Exactly. Like, you know. Because I already got my acting credentials. I wouldn't got them last week. Okay. How much they cost? 
about fifty dollars. Oh, well, see, I ain't got that. I gotta wait next week. Oh no. Well, they don't cost that much though. Okay. But um. <laughs> also, the next thing that came up in the show was old trifling ass Kirk. And yes, I said trifling ass Kirk. Who and everybody it, threw it. Chad Kirk, I don't know if you, you know what? I don't know if you real. I don't know if you fake. But <laughs> I think you Kirk ain't right. On. I told you. Like, and the fact that, and I think, I, I think it's, I, I kind of think y'all, I, I don't think Rashida putting up with that. Ain't no way in the I don't think so either. But when, when I walk in the house and see another woman holding my baby who I don't know, yep. I ain't going to walk in and say hello. And sit down and say, oh, we were supposed to talk about this together. Exactly. I'm like, not finna say like, that. She the, the girl talking about, hi, mommy. Say hi, mommy. I'm not finna say First of all, that's a stranger holding your baby with Kirk, and you know what Kirk is. Kirk, Kirk just talked about your mama sucking thing. Thank you. Like, I'd have walked in the house, and when she said, hi, mommy, and when she just, I'd have been like, um, who is you? Oh, you, this some girl you just met random, and like. Is that because she wouldn't have been holding my baby here if that had been me? Exactly. I'd, I'd, but I'd, I'd say, give me my son. Rashid, let me tell let you something. Let me tell you A little different, because some of these yeah. women that I know right here, they wouldn't take no minutes like and me. And she told me, oh, I was under the impression that y'all was a marriage. I'd say, you was under what? Okay, wait a minute. I'll, wait a minute. Because see, I don't think I heard you correctly. Like, you you was under the what? And see, I'd have been swung on Kirk. But see, Rashida ain't gonna like, see, Rashida did that last time. Okay, Rashida ain't got the counter throw at her. So, but I, no, she I think really, it's good the way she did it before herself. But that's herself. what she did for taking up for Kirk. Because I wouldn't take exactly. up for Kirk last year. But last year, Kirk was like, no, he were, was he messed up last year? Yeah. Like towards the beginning or towards the end, like I think towards the end, once like like episode number two, like I think he when she told him she was pregnant, when she told him she was pregnant, mm -hmm. he had not lost his goddamn mind. I think he was prepared for what he was gonna do because the first season he was just like stepped on, so he was like these next season I'm just gonna be a straight dirty ass person, and I don't blame him. And that's what he did because you gonna get your chest, but Kirk, you you definitely yeah, but that's the wrong. Yourself. You can get your chest, but that's the wrong way. You it's like damn, like show some type of care. A love for your girl, like you ain't showing nothing. Like, come well, on, now. messing it up for itself. Poor thing. Ain't no poor thing. You need to be punching his. Rashida, you should have walked out as soon as you see. You should have picked your baby up when they put that baby in the crib. Call mama on the horn to tell her to drive back over there. Cause see, you needed some backup. And I know your mama would have been down. All you had to do was call her, cause she been waiting to put a foot in Kirk ass since last season, since she ran that bike over. So she would have been down. I'd have had her over there, and I'd have swung on Kirk. I'm sorry. Oh. I would. She should have swung on his ass. You know, got old nasty, dirty. Child, by you talk about her mama uh, uh, compared to some raggedy thing. You don't know where it came from. You make this her at the bar thing, like come yeah, on. Yeah, her. And no disrespect to the girl or whatever, but you don't, you don't know that but, girl. But, that baby. but he didn't meet her at no daycare or nothing. Exactly. Like, like you ain't, you ain't read through the ass and find for no babysitter or nothing like that. Go on somewhere, trying to get your face sucked on the side. Don't <laughs> child, please. You want this girl to burp your baby and then suck your thing on the side to Rashida get it from the studio. But you worry about she cheating with Scrappy. Child by them. Put a D in. I hope Rashida, ooh. Lord have mercy. I can't, you know, Kurt, Kurt make my blood pressure go up. It's just some, oh, some Lord. body like. Lord ooh. bless him. Bless him. Ooh, ooh. People that got low blood pressure need to watch Kurt because it'll go up. Like, it'll be better. Or something. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. We, I'm through it, Kurt. Because Kurt okay. raises uh -oh. blood pressure. Ooh, and Rashida, we, you need some help too, well, cause ain't no way, girl, you don't put okay. up with that mess. Like, woo, woo. okay, okay, just now you me. need K. Michelle back where you, with his three to cuss his ass out, <laughs> cause Ooh. that's what he need. You need your mama back over there. I, know what I do? I since he wanna bring babies, side babysitters in, I have my mama move in permanently. Oh lord, sure would. Well, anyways, <laughs> to be we the seen, his ass every day. We seen Miss Oh Missy Carly Red as they call her, but um. Oh. Her and Young Jock went to go look at the house. Oh, yeah. They went to go look at a house that Jock probably can't afford. It, well, damn. But, okay. I'm sorry, but hey. But the girl well, who I don't was showing them the house, Carly didn't really like. Exactly. And first of all, you're looking for a house with somebody you ain't even in a relationship with. Hey. Like, I know they dating on the show. Child, that's for sure. You ain't in a relationship with no Carly. Really. But anyways, if you watch the show, you know what happened. But anyways, Carly went here and asked this girl, say, is mm -hmm. you fucking my man? Like, and the girl waited and was like, dude, what do you mean? And like, are we her, having sexual relations? Are we having, like, her, <laughs> me, oh, I wear many hats. I'm pretty sure you do. You wear a lot of hats. But then you jump out and say, oh, I most definitely am. I'm going definitely together. Am. I, 
You the been over. And it. I love how Kyla Red told me, Ooh, baby, yeah, mm, ain't gonna get Jock kiss in front of her like that. She's a side chick. She know her position. I ain't gonna do nothing to her, Carly. Girl, she know her but position. Car- I got one problem with this situation. How you throw your purse at the girl and run? Like, like you throw it, but you go that way. And like, you run. Like, and then Carly, uh-huh. I know I don't agree with violence. I, you know, in the right time. You can, some people can get, some people deserve it, some people can get knocked on. But don't throw your purse, baby. Don't, don't, don't throw she your swung, purse, baby. just swung the purse. You held on to it, but you didn't ran the other way. Don't like. throw your purse. But girl, all your ID, all your makeup, all that stuff in that <laughs> purse. If you'd have sworn that purse and that purse would have ripped, all your stuff would have been messed up. All your mat, big, all that stuff would have been all <laughs> Child, girl, sit that purse to the side and throw your hands. Them That's dentures, all you do. All her dentures and everything. You that purse. You better yeah, child, that. you better leave Colorado. Colorado, my girl. I'm talking about Colorado like that. Poor thing. Bless her heart. Colorado be looking, be looking cute, too. Child, get it, girl. If she, if uh, you about 60 years old, baby, you look good for your age. Get it, girl. I wish I looked like that at 60. But anyways... Baby, don't throw your purse because you don't want to tear your purse up, baby. Put your purse to the side and swing with your hands, with your fists. Like, leave. Go go watch that salon video and study it. You know, that way. So, yeah. Um, But, yeah, I think that but was we probably, it. But we're going to see the continuation next week, yeah. which is what Love and Hip Hop do. They pull out, pull us into this old ranching mess that we do. And don't show you number about. one little piece of thing that looks like it's exactly. going to be interesting and then it turn out not to be until like another three episodes later. Exactly. So <sighs> that's it. Thanks for watching. And we want everybody to like, subscribe, comment. If you don't agree, go ahead on and tell me about it. If you do agree, go ahead on and tell me about it. If you want to say the, the, the sky is blue, put it down there. Because I tell you it's red. You know, maybe now. So make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you later.